All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So I know this isn't really a Gorilla Tag video, but if you read the title, um, I'm gonna be showing you how to get mods for Gorilla Tag if you don't know. So, first thing you're gonna wanna do to get mods is I'll have the Gorilla Tag modding Discord server in the link, um, as a link in the description. You should be here or in this server. And once you're here, You're going to want to go to the very top. You'll see a gorilla tag modding guide. That that is another guide that can tell you how to get mods. But if you just want to watch this video on how to get mods, you're one. You're gonna want to go to like uh, any channel you can type in, pretty much. And you're gonna want to type. Sorry for the loud keyboard if it's too loud. But you're gonna want to type question mark. M M M. And then once you do that, this will pop up. And um, you're going to want to click this link and then go down and download monkeymodmanager.exe. Now I already have Monkey Mod Manager, but I'll just download it for this video. So you're gonna download it. And then once you have downloaded it, you should be graded with this. And then once you're here, you're gonna want to go all the way down and you're going to want to select utila tmp loader newtonsoft.json x inject bep inject and that's pretty much it and you're going to want to click install slash update once it's done it should say install complete so once you're done with that you're going to want to click utilities then you're going to go to bep and x folder and it should bring you here so you should see like the, your BEP inject and the stuff you downloaded, right? From mo from Monkey Mod Manager, right? Those are gonna help for mods to work that need those. So basically, if you're downloading a mod from the Gorilla Tag modding website, so if we go to Discord, you should see PC mod releases. You're gonna click that, and then you should see there's tons of mods in here, right? Now, when getting a mod, you're probably going to want to read what it says, just in case. Because, like, if you go all the way up, see, there's this wardrobe enhancer, I downloaded this. And it says that it requires BEP inject, X inject, new soft, JSON, to make the mod function as intended. And, uh, yeah, so. Some, some of those you're going to need. Now, both two of these mods right here. Uh, are not in the Gorilla Tag modding discord. You can find other mods and if you want illegal mods, which I don't recommend it, but if you want to try them, uh, you can join my discord server, which um, has, if you scroll all the way down, there's a mod tutorial, which I'm replacing with this video. This one was made forever ago, by the way. Um, this is monkey mod manager. There's modding help if you need mods, or need help with mods. There's a mod cosmetic field fixer for Gorilla Tag, uh, or mod cosmetics. There's mod maps if you are downloading, like, um, or you, if you're downloading, like, the Gorilla modding, or I forgot what it's called, but. Um, we have mod menus if you want to try them. By the way, if you are getting uh, illegal mods, I would recommend going into a um, modded server. And then we have normal mods, so yeah. We have hats, materials, and then you can post your own mods if you want. So, after you did that, um, let's go back to Monkey Mod Manager real quick. And let's go here. So if you want some legal mods and not illegal mods, like if you, so there, they do have some here. So how about we download? So right now I'm going to take all of these out. Okay. So now we only have these, right? So go back to Monkey Mod Manager and download download Super Monkey, Space Monkey. Go. 
Dash Monkey and Gravity Monkey. And Air Jump, it, which is platforms. So get Air Jump too. These are the mods we're downloading. Air Jump, Dash Monkey, Gravity Monkey, Space Monkey, and Super Monkey. And then, by the way, these are tools. So if you have a broken controller, you can get broken controller. Um, we have haunted, there's haunted mod menu, which if you download these, you can get a mod menu. So download that. There's no ambient, which, which you can turn off the sound for like rain and stuff. And yeah, so basically just get all this for now. And if you don't like the rain, I would recommend getting rain disabler. Because, uh, yeah. I, in my opinion, I don't like the rain, so I would use it. So now click install slash update. It should be installing all those. And once it says install complete, you can close out of this. And if you're not already here, go back to Monkey Mod Manager. Go back to utilities and BEP inject or BEP and X folder, sorry. And then go to plugins and you should see all your mods in here. Alright, so for computer interface, it'll automatically add it if you're adding like platforms. So if you're trying to get because basically servers won't work if you try to join it or it won't work if you try joining a code with it. So go into my Discord server, you should see computer interface fix. Go into there. You're gonna download computer interface commands and you're gonna take out the one and replace it with the one that's already in there. Click save, yes, and you're gonna go computer interface, continue. Uh, take, let me just take out the one, save, yes. And basically once you go into a, once you go into gorilla tag and try joining code, it should work. By the way, one more thing. I'm pretty sure when you're when uh, when you get Monkey Mod Manager, I kind of um, you're going to want to. It, it's gonna ask you where your Gorilla Tag folder is. You're gonna go. You're gonna basically once you're here, you're gonna go to this PC. Uh, on your your main drive. Mine is in program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, and then Gorilla Tag. Now I don't know if it's different for you guys, but basically you just want to go to your program files or your program files 86 or whatever number it is, and you're going to want to look. In both of in your and you're gonna want to look for your Steam folder, and then yeah, Steam apps, comment, Gorilla Tag, and that's where everything should be. All right, so now once you're in Gorilla Tag, you should be in third person, and basically you'll it'll also come with computer interface because you chose like Air Jump and stuff. So to get actually get into a modded lobby, first before you do anything, this is something that everybody messes up. On the computer interface, you're going to want to go down to mod status, click enter, and you're going, the things you're going to turn off, you're going to turn off gravity monkey, air, air jump, dash monkey, super monkey, and space monkey. The reason you're doing this is because once you join a modded lobby, they'll automatically be turned on and you'll just be flying everywhere. So I would recommend turning those off. So now, over here at the thing where you choose game modes, you're gonna click the arrow and click on a modded, modded lobby or modded casual. Now you're going to go back to the computer, click back, go up to game settings, click enter on room, and you're going to just type in what room you want to join. So I'm gonna be joining room Kool Aid, and it should say joining room. And now you're in the room. So now once you're in the code. You should, so you are gonna want to come over here. Go down to mod status. The one you, the one you wanna turn on first, turn on air, make sure your air jumps on. Go to the main menu of your, go to here, and you should see air jump. Go down to that, and you can choose the material size, 
and uh, other colors. Yeah. So basically, now once you do that, you can use platforms, and you can make it. Yeah, you can make it fur, which makes it the color of you. So now for the haunted mod menu, you want to click the middle of your hand. So basically, right there. If it wants to work, there we go. So now you should see the haunted mod menu. You'll see how rain disabler is there. You'll see gravity monkey, which I don't know what it does. Okay, gravity monkey sticks you to walls. Rain disabler, which disables the rain. I don't know why this menu is so hard to open. I think I'm gonna make my own menu for with a uh, with. Mo with mods that only work in pr in like cat and modded lobbies, and then you'll see there's air jump, which is platforms. It's broken right now. There's a reason. Oh, there you go. Fixed it. You'll see dash monkey, which you press B and it dashes. Boom. If you want to go in first person, you can go to go over to the Steam VR, click this, and then click Display VR View, and then it should be like this. So now, after you do that, to open the menu, if you don't, if you can't figure it out, you're gonna want to click right there, and the menu will open, and that's where all your mods are. There we go. Okay, so we, yeah, Dash Monkey, got Space Monkey, which is just a, which is just like a speed boost. And then, yeah, any other mod you add will be on the next pages. Yeah, that's basically how to get mods working. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and click that like button. I'll see you in the next one, and peace.